Give a man a pipe he can smoke, give a man a book he can read, and his home is bright with a calm delight, though the room be poor indeed. Alfred Dunhill, 1924. Hey friends, and welcome to There and to Back Again. I'm Logan. Thanks so much for visiting me today. Uh, I'm talking today about uh, a book that I got off of eBay. Uh, it's probably not unknown to you uh, that have been smoking for a long time or have, have gone in search of pipe culture or pipe books uh, that you can uh, read. But this is uh, The Pipe Book by Alfred Dunhill. And that, yes, that is the same Dunhill with the major uh, pipe collection, the pipe uh, creator, the uh, tobacco line, all gets this name from Alfred Dunhill, who had a love affair with pipe culture. Uh, this book is, is a real gem for anybody that's, uh, that doesn't only like to smoke pipes, but also enjoys the, uh, the history of it. And that's, that's my background. Uh, I'm a historian and an archaeologist. Uh, and uh, this book right here is kind of a dream for, for guys like me. Uh, this is not a how-to book uh, about how to smoke a pipe. This is about pipes from around the world and uh, the findings of Alfred Dunhill uh, from all over the world, different types and styles of pipes and the history of those pipes. Uh, and it is, it is really a, a beautiful book. This particular book, I think, is... Um, I guess with this cover is is out of print, but there is uh, this book is still in print that you can find at Amazon, and I'll post a, a link in the description below. But I just wanted to let you guys know about this book for any of you uh, history buffs out there. Um, it goes through. Uh, it really takes a look at pipes from every culture as long as those cultures have been around. Pipes and tobacco. Uh, have been uh, have been a major part of different cultures, different civilizations. Um, the first uh, uh, chapter is called "Why Men Smoke," and there is there are some kind of antiquated ideas in here, and the, some of the uh, the prose can be a little dense at times. Um, but it is, uh, it is really, uh, an, a really an amazingly written book. It's about 200 pages, uh, and it talks about every type of pipe from straight pipes, mound pipes, water pipes, clay pipes, and modern briar. Um, one of my favorite passages from the, uh, uh the why men smoke chapter, which is the, the first chapter says this. For the everyday smoke, however, what more is there to know of it than this, that it is, in its essence, the pipe of peace. This is the idea which we find embodied in the folklore of simple peoples, as in the following Indian tale. A coyote had offered grievous insult to the head of a slain buffalo bull. A living bull pursued him to avenge his kinsman, the Manitou, the great spirit, taking pity on the coyote's weakness, gave to him the first pipe and the first tobacco. To the angry bull, the pipe was offered as he flung himself at his enemy, and as he smoked, the coyote said to him, It will be thus in later times, when there will be many people, when they are angry with one another, they will smoke to make their hearts feel good. And I find a lot of truth in that statement, and the reason why we have such a great pipe community, um, because no matter what background or what belief system we may have, we find a community of people that enjoy the pipe and the tobacco that goes in it. So I just wanted to uh, tell you guys about this book if you had not heard about it. And if you have and don't own a copy of it yet, uh, go to Amazon or uh, anywhere that you can get books and see if you can find this book. Sometimes you can find this very book on eBay. That's where I got it. Um, and it is really a fantastic read uh, all the way through. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. It's, it's also uh, fully illustrated with drawings and pictures of pipes from around the world. And I think uh, for anybody that enjoys history and pipe culture, you'll really enjoy this book. Anyway, that's, uh, that's it for today. It's kind of a short video, but I wanted to let you guys know about this. 
Anyway, I hope you guys have a very blessed day. Keep your pipes warm and I'll see you again.